Hello everybody, this is Evan, founder and CEO of Genta Tech, and we are back again with another quick video. Now, I would like to recognize that it is April 1st, obviously April Fools. With that said, this video is not a joke by any stretch of the imagination. Security researchers have found a gigantic, gigantic vulnerability in the Elementor Pro page builder, which is a very, very hot page builder on the WordPress platform. Um, as of last year, April of last year, they had about 11, about 11 million users, and I think that's probably getting closer to 12, if not 13. Their growth has been nothing short of exponential. So, um, yeah, this is kind of a big deal. And in addition to that, this, this vulnerability has been found to apply to every single Elementor version ever made outside of the version that they just pushed the patch out to. Uh, so that's a big deal. We're going to be looking at some of the things surrounding this vulnerability here. And um, as you can see, as of six hours ago, this really kind of started making the rounds. Uh, this was actually first reported on March 18th, and Elementor did a fantastic job. Uh, only took them 96 hours to go ahead and kick out the patch for this, so they got this out on March 22nd, four short days there. Um, with that said, this is just now kind of starting to make the rounds in popular news, so this is why we're covering this at this moment. And um, version-wise, this applies to everything before, well, everything before 3.11.7. So if you're running 3.11.6 or anything below that, um, and you were running this with WooCommerce, you are indeed impacted. So essentially what's happening here is if you're running Elementor Pro specifically with WooCommerce, uh, this exploit uses Ajax action calls to go ahead and create an account and then give that account admin access so people can do whatever they really want from that point. Uh, we did a write-up on this, and there's a couple other good write-ups as well. One at Nintech Net and the other at Patchstack. Um, this was originally discovered by security researcher Jerome. I'm not sure how you say this last name here, but I want to make sure we highlight this. I don't want to butcher it, so I'm not even going to try. And then this is uh, the company that he works for here. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, you can see the original write-up. Um, it has been reported that this was not just something found in research, but there are actively people um, exploiting this. And these are the IP addresses that this information is commonly getting tied back to as far as exploitation. And then as things are getting exploited, these right here are the names of the files that are going to be found in your hosting server if you have been attacked. So you can go ahead and check that and give a quick audit there. So we recommend obviously checking your files for anything that looks like this or anything that's just unusual in general. And then go ahead and check your logs as well uh, for any activity from these IP addresses to see if you've been impacted. Important thing to note here, this only is um, impacting Elementor Pro users. So if you have the regular version of Elementor, this is not something as far as right now that anybody can find that you're currently being impacted by. If you want to read our write-up of it, we'll go ahead and leave our link in the description. Again, the recommendation here is going to be to make sure that you update your version. So you want to be 3.11.7 or newer. You want to do that as quickly as possible. Even if you're not running a WooCommerce app, we recommend getting this done as soon as possible. With 11 million plus users, probably closer to 12, there's a good chance that this is impacting somebody watching this video. So we want to make this quick, short, and sweet. Um, you know, again, not an April Fool's joke by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, we hope that you can get this patched up as soon as possible, and we will see you next time.